finally reaching the front lines. The Bristol fighter pilot takes in the scene on the ground and prepares to attack in support of the British force, unaware of the number of German aircraft in the area. Ever vigilant, several of the triplane pilots spot the lone Bristol and turn to attack the British aircraft. By attacking the Bristol from below, the triplane pilots attempt to keep out of the line of fire from the rear gunner, who might otherwise provide stiff opposition. Heartened by the arrival of the Royal Flying Corps, the British troops advance on the German gunners, despite the fact that they remain under attack from two of the triplanes. A desperate struggle now develops high in the sky as the Bristol pilot tries to avoid the three triplanes intent on shooting him down. Able to turn in a tighter circle than the triplanes, the Bristol manages to remain just out of reach of the German guns, at least for most of the fight. The British advance continues steadily, despite more strafing attacks from the low-flying German aircraft. High above the ground, the Bristol continues its struggle to avoid becoming another of the Red Baron's string of victims. ground, the British troops reach the German positions and start to make significant headway, much to the horror of the German troops.
the German gunners continue to withdraw from their positions as the British Tommies steadily advance, well supported by the intimidating Mark IV tank and the armoured car. Better late than ever, the French Newport finally arrives on the scene to chase away the low-flying triplanes, who are now short of fuel. Once more the triplanes dive on the Bristol fighter and the British air crew face yet another withering attack from the German aircraft. This time however the British have some success as the gunner brings his guns to bear on Hans Kirstein's aircraft. The German pilot is last seen going down behind a stand of trees in the distance. Capturing the first of the German field guns, the British soldiers still face stiff opposition from the German troops. Sense by the loss of his squadron mate, von Reckhofen makes his final attack on the Bristol, determined that the British aircraft will not make it back to the Allied lines in one piece. Kemp also gets a few shots in at the Bristol, and the British aircraft is finally shot down. Low on fuel, the two remaining triplanes only have time to make one passing attack on the Newport 24 before heading home, while the Frenchman continues his attack on the German ground forces.
facing attack from the air and overwhelming odds on the ground, the German troops make one last desperate counter-attack. Heavy fire from the British halt the German advance, and the Tommies then make their own massed charge. This is the final straw for the Germans, who now have no option but to surrender. As the German prisoners are rounded up, the Red Cross nurses and the battery commander make the most of the confusion to slip away from the field of battle, unnoticed by the victorious British. <laughs> 